Hey guys, uh, today I will talk about uh, Japanese yen uh, longs, guys. I will talk about Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, Euro, Japanese uh, yen shorts. Read disclaimer here. Don't forget to to read it. Um, so let's take a look. Um, yeah, today, guys. Um, um, let's refresh the economic calendar. So early uh, earlier we had um, the Canadian economic data. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, all sale uh, sales uh, in line with expectations. Manufacturing sales better than expected. Yeah, uh, also mixed uh, eurozone economic data as well. Uh, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, uh, and I've talked about uh, this, uh, this the, the the Canadian inflation data also in my market breakdown video. Um, it could uh, it could shake the markets tomorrow. So euro, Japanese yen, but first of all yen basket because I've talked about yen basket today in my daily uh, in my uh, market breakdown video, and I've said that this could be only a temporary retreat, and then I will look for potential Japanese yen longs when this uh, retreat uh, correction will be over, then it could turn to the upside so um let's take a look euro japanese yen first of all um yeah it has reached the um, supply zone okay uh, the supply zone right now uh, is trading in the red and uh, yeah, after this massive massive drop a rebound and uh, as long as it stays below the upper medium line of the descending pitchfork uh, yeah uh, and also maybe below this uh, this supply zone uh, under 159.99 it could turn to the downside again um, and the um, if you are a VIP member, you already know that personally I've sent uh, a new trade also on British Pound the Japanese Yen. Um, this was only for the VIP group, so I will uh, also um, I will also um, yeah I will send uh, the thought process uh, the rational into the VIP group as well in a video. Um, so Euro Japanese Yen. Uh, but right now it's still located inside of this uh, channel as long as it is above the uh, pop trend line it could uh, approach and reach uh, test retest uh, the supply zone the upper medium line that uh, static resistance and uh, activating this uh, this uh, this flag pattern could uh, open the door for a potential new sell-off um, Canadian dollar Japanese uh, Japanese yen uh, here the price reached the upper medium line um, it has uh, it was rejected by this supply zone and also here uh, we can uh, we can talk about uh, potential uh, potential maybe flag pattern uh, potential uh, bearish formation bearish pattern right and uh, activating uh, activating this uh, this pattern staying below the uptrend line test retest yeah could signal a potential new downside movement a potential new sell off guys okay and um, this is my opinion this is the rational here i've talked about the end basket also in that market breakdown video and i said that maybe this could represent only a temporary retreat and uh, it could uh, it could develop a new bullish movement bullish momentum and uh, this could bring us potential new Japanese yen long. So we need also here confirmation. Uh, yen basket uh, needs to take out the downtrend line and uh, maybe to stay above uh, this uh, immediate um, immediate uh, demand zone. Uh, but yeah, after this uh, this sell off, it could uh, maybe it could um, try to it could uh, try to turn to the upside the upside again, and uh, this could bring us uh, Japanese yen longs, guys. Japanese yen longs, yeah, maybe something like this, or if you'll use uh, this one, no, something like this, maybe on ascending a pitchfork, guys, right? So, uh, this is my opinion Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, and the uh, euro, Japanese yen, uh, maybe potential new shorts, guys, potential new shorts right now. Um, it challenges um, the, the immediate support, the dynamic uh, uh, support and the downside obstacle. And uh, uh, don't forget, guys, to read the disclaimer. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.